now the CIA, the FBI, and the Director of National Intelligence, all working with Attorney General William Barr now to review the origins of the Russia investigation. This after Barr appointed U.S. Attorney John Durham to investigate possible surveillance abuses against the Trump campaign. Here's House Oversight Committee Ranking Member Jim Jordan last night. Is Bill Barr doing what he said? He said he was serious about putting together a team to get to the bottom of this. He said there was a four key things. There was a failure of leadership at the upper echelon of the FBI. We know that's true. He said spying took place. He said it twice. He said there's a basis for his concern about the spying that occurred. Right. And finally, the two terms he used, I said this last week in the committee hearing, he used two terms that should scare every single American. He said uh, unauthorized surveillance mm. and political surveillance. Let's bring in Andy McCarthy, former assistant U.S. attorney and Fox News contributor. You've been going through all of this with us, Andy. Good morning to you. Uh, so you just heard morning, Jim Jordan there making the point that Bill Barr is doing what he said he was going to do, and he is serious about it. So what do you expect from this investigation? Well, Sandra, I think they're going to home in on the question that the attorney general has highlighted, which is what was the predication for the investigation. I think at this point, we shouldn't entertain any doubts at all. There was clearly surveillance that went on here. I believe it went back to the second half of 2015. A lot of it was generated by uh, British and, and European intelligence services using the CIA as a clearinghouse. Uh, I think we, all, we know that that all happened. We know it all happened, or a lot of it happened, just based on testimony that uh, former CIA Director Brennan gave in 2017. So a, a lot of the tactics or techniques that were used are not in doubt. The question is, did they have enough reason to overcome what is a norm in our country, which is that the incumbent administration should not use the law enforcement and intelligence powers that the government is trusted with in order to investigate political campaigns, in particular the opposition political campaign. So that's the question. We know that the inspector general's uh, investigation into the same thing, the origins uh, of the investigation, the Russia probe, uh, it, it's looking into the same thing. And that's ongoing. And, and Barr has suggested that possibly we'll see the outcome of that um, May or June. So how is this yeah. investigation looking into the same thing? How is it different? What different powers does Durham have? Yeah. What I think, Sandra, that Inspector General Horowitz is focused on is what I would, what I would say is related but, but slightly different, which is the origin of the FBI foreign intelligence uh, court warrant, uh, warrant generated surveillance, mainly on Carter Page, but I think there may have been other targets as well. The Inspector General obviously has to, because of what his mandate is, his concern is activity by Justice Department officials and FBI officials, in particular when we're talking about FISA surveillance. The investigation, that, that piece that we just talked about, really begins around July, August of uh, 2016, and the first warrants are issued in October. I think this investigation, in terms of the intelligence origins of it, actually goes back to 2015. And I think what Barr is talking about is what got this ball rolling in the first place in a big way, including not just the Justice Department aspect of it, but the intelligence community and foreign intelligence services as well. I want to play for you. Uh, former CIA Director John Brennan uh, went on another network yesterday suggesting that Barr, the attorney general, is on a fishing expedition. Here is Brennan. It went through a rigorous due process within the Department of Justice, the FBI. It was approved by the FISA court. It went through all of those steps. And now if they look at, back at it in 2020, are they going to find that there was something that should have been said differently? That's what they're trying to do is to uncover something that they will misrepresent as being part of this deep state effort to try to undermine Donald Trump's election. He's suggesting bars out to, to misrepresent uh, something here. He made the case that the FISA application, and these are his words, went through a rigorous due process at the DOJ and the FBI, Andy. Yeah, well, you know, they make mistakes sometimes too, Sandra, and sometimes they abuse their powers. And when that happens, what we hear is that Congress has oversight responsibility and these agencies themselves have internal 
oversight responsibility. That's the reason we have oversight committees. It's the reason we have an inspector general. To my mind, having looked at this and understanding what the, the standards are for establishing probable cause, I think that not only should the activities of the Justice Department and the FBI, the presentation of the warrants be looked at, I, I actually think they ought to be looking at what on earth the FISA court was thinking about mm -hmm. when it issued some of these warrants. But this is just a, this is an oversight exercise. And if what Director Brennan is saying is true, then what's he worried about? Mm -hmm. But to hear them talk about like it's a fishing expedition after we just had a two-year investigation of the administration mm -hmm. under circumstances where the Justice Department didn't articulate a crime that it was actually looking at. We spent two years on a fishing expedition under the guise of collusion. They're now going to complain about oversight of the intelligence and the Justice Department and the FBI. That seems ridiculous to me. All right. Andy McCarthy, great to have you on this morning. Hope to have you back soon. Thank you.